What is up, YouTube? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. We're terrified. Uh, farm sim, let's get to it. All right, we are back on the farm. Don't worry about YouTube, what just happened. You didn't, it's fine. You didn't see it. Whew, thought I was going to have to call myself an ambulance. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> that Christmas tree looks like it's dying. So, fun fact. Uh, real Christmas trees that you, you know, go to the Christmas tree lot and you buy and you bring to your house. And you put lights and ornaments on. And, and then in, in like, you know, early January, you throw away. Uh, they're dying, too. So... Yeah, those those are dying too. Just just for the record, you know, like Christmas trees that you bring into your house, you know, they're they're dying. Unless you get one that's in the root. Or has like the root the root ball, you know, but like that's not anyway. Um so we were subsoiling and I'm not too worried about cleaning up the little skippers. Uh but it looks like everything is done now right everything is done now um so we need to check our factories we need to check our factories that's a that's a that's a you know when you're when you're playing playing the factory game here you gotta check your factories often right oh no oh no lonely what do you do You buy fake Christmas trees because they can have more decorations. What? Oh boy. What's popping? What's popping? All right. Um, nine foot tree. Oh boy. You know, I'm still going to call you lonely, right? Oh, man. I'm going to call you Pizza Power. That's what we're going to call you from now on, okay? Pizza Power. That's a can. I'll tell you what. That's, that's something, all right? Okay. <laughs> Big facts. <laughs> all right. We don't have anything to haul there. The flower's full, so we're not going to haul flour. All of our stuff is pretty well full. So I'm not going to worry about it. Our 93,000 liters of potatoes. But hey, we're making tater soup. So all of our factories are chilling. Um, crop calendar says we could plant. Uh, we could cr plant the barley. We could do the barley trick again where we do barley and then harvest and then plant. We can do that. So let's let's find. Um, although actually. We need to plant potato. Well, let's not plant all of our fields in barley. But let's plant some of them in barley. Do, 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 do. I want. I choose you! Like Pokemon. But like. But like it's not, you know? I choose you. Spent 10 50. Potato chips, yeah. So here's what we're gonna do, Sean. We are not, not going to plant. Does that need to be plowed by chance? No, that feels, feels chilling. I'm not gonna plant the big field 55 in wheat, or sorry, barley. I will leave that for potatoes. We'll plant potatoes in the big field and then we'll have all the other fields for the regular root crop uh, extravaganza that we've been doing. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So yeah. Potatoes. Potatoes. Scoopsy potatoes. Oh man. That's oh oh oh. Stop for a second there. Okay, I'm I'm breaking things, chat. Don't let me Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not a fent person because you don't like European tractors that much. But this thing's not a European tractor. This thing's a freaking spaceship. Look at all those buttons. Anyway, all I got to say about that. 
Uh, the 1050 is one of the best all-around tractors in this game, honestly, at least in my opinion, you know. It's got speed, it's got power, it's red and green for Christmas. Hello? What's not to like about this? I'm just saying. What's not to like about it? We have seed here still, chat. There. There's Christmas lights on my screen right now. Our pet's heads are falling off. The whole thing, chat, you know? It is a whole thing, y'all. Uh, no, Chuck, I haven't updated the picture, if that's what you're about to ask. I have to figure out how to do that. I gotta take a good picture of the lights still. I haven't done that yet. I gotta get, like, you know, some cooperation or, or take the picture before, like, uh, first time and dad. Dad will park out of the way for me, but, like, first time, yeah. You know. Asking him to park out of the way. Might as well, you know, gotta get Congress involved. You know what I mean? So. It's a whole thing, man. It's a whole thing. All right. We're going to fill up our cedar. Actually, actually, funny, funny thing you ask about the bunny chat. So. We couldn't find our small uh, trap at the farm. We know we have one, couldn't find it. I think it's upstairs in the shed somewhere buried from the flood of 19 still, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, I don't know anything about that tractor. Never heard of it, uh, Duckler. Uh, Texas, all I did was just give ourselves money. I didn't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what caused the, uh, little whoopsie. But, anyway, so chat, rabbit situation, uh, catch up, okay? You guys ready for this? Not, not catch up on the rabbit, that's weird. Chat, don't do that. Don't do that. And you ready for leftover pizza now? Let's go. Pizza power! I'm just thinking, like, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm going to tell the rabbit, okay? Trent, hello. Thanks for the bits. I know you've been here. So, listen, chat, okay? Listen. Listen, Linda. I have a picture I'm going to post in Discord in a minute. But, hear me out. We bought... Dad and I literally made a special trip out to what I call, like, a redneck store. Like, you know... Yeah, name the store. There's, there's a bunch of them that are pretty much all the same, right? I just don't talk about the one I go to because it's, you know close to my house and you guys don't need to know what it's called okay well it's kind of close to the house kind of not any hoozles besides the story right so we go out we buy a trap spend the whatever i think it was like 30 bucks or something on a trap right because i couldn't find the one at the farm dad couldn't find the one at the farm i put i put the trap out in my christmas display for like a week it's got it's got bait in it it's it's Never even a clip of the rabbit in the front yard after that, right? On the cameras. Is there new FS coming? Hopefully. We haven't heard anything yet, but hopefully, yeah. Was it last? Farm Sim 22 is the newest Farm Sim on console, yeah, or PC and console, but like hopefully there'll be a new one someday. So listen, last night, okay, so like not a sign of this rabbit for like two weeks, right? There's no. You know, because the thing likes to poop on the driveway and, and the sidewalk. There's none of that. There's there's no clips on my cameras of the rabbit. There's just no sign of the rabbit anywhere. Right? I'm checking my cameras day, day and night, checking clips. It's recording nothing. Right? Last night, right before I was, like, falling asleep. All right. Arms 22 is not too good for them to make a new one. There's tons of issues but anyway uh audio in the homestead hello so last night i'm laying in bed and i was like you know what i want to check my cameras just to just to see what's going on out in my front yard you know and uh i'll be darn i'll be darn that i had a whole bunch of clips that had been recorded and i was like huh that's kind of weird well, it was raining last night, and the camera's going absolutely just insane. 
uh, recording raindrops, you know? And I was like, okay, that's fine, you know, because it sees motion, it hits record, right? You got to Chat, these kids, I swear. Um, so, I, uh, I take a screenshot of what my one camera can see. Oh, did it not take the right screenshot? Oh, it didn't take the zoomed in screenshot. I can't show you all the whole screenshot. Hold on, I gotta edit this. I can't show you because you can see the Addy on the front of my house, guys. So I can't, I can't show you that. Um, how do I edit this? So like a zoom in, edit. Can I just like zoom? Yeah. Zoom, 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 zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, okay, that doesn't actually like. We could just like, can we can we draw on this? Do, 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 do. Wait, if I zoom like that, does it save copy? It didn't save it. Okay, how do I zoom? Got right there, zoom, zoom, zoom. Mm, I don't know, it's not working. But anyway, the moral of the story chat. Oh, I gotta turn alerts back on. The moral of the story um, is that L three FT four D three add cheer decks one hundred enhance enhance enhance. The moral of the story is that the rabbit was in my front yard last night, and he was chewing on stuff. I couldn't tell if he was chewing on like extension cords. I'll find out tonight when things don't work. But he was chewing on stuff last night. You know, you live, we, <laughs> I don't live under the arch. Well, uh, b b all I need to do is put the photo on my computer and then I could like do it right. You know, be nice to Peter the rabbit. <sighs> Mr. Cottontail is going to get what's coming to him. <laughs> Justin, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Justin. Actually, that's hilarious. How's it going, Justin? Welcome in. Arson should have his own comedy special, you think? Why? Is Carson funny or something? But anyway, so there's like a hundred clips um, recorded of old rabbit just, just walking around my front yard last night you know nibbling here and nibbling there so hopefully oh i recorded two minutes of the rain last night apparently man my camera freaks out in the rain y'all absolutely freaks out that's kind of crazy there's so many clips from after i went to bed good god it rained hard at like 4 30 in the morning apparently and there's just tons of clips anyway Anyway, anyway, so the rabbit is back. Now, the funny thing is that dad was like, oh, we could take this trap to the farm and try to trap that skunk that's tearing up the yard down there. So the trap's not here. So I got to get that back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'll look right at the camera. That's awesome, Justin. <laughs> that is awesome. But like, what I don't understand is the rabbit. Oh, so the camera, the camera has an alarm. So like if somebody was, you know, messing around, you know, I could like hit, hit a button on the phone and it, it's pretty loud too. The rabbit didn't even flinch. Okay. I was playing this alarm at like what, what two o'clock in the morning, two 30 in the morning in my front yard last night and didn't even care. And then I, I can talk through the cameras. So I turn the microphone on and I start yelling, Hey, Go away! And like he just done, didn't he didn't even flinch. <laughs> like he's just rabbit death. Like with Dijon mustard. Okay, all right, Yulberry. I oh, how about honey mustard? I like honey mustard. I'm not a big Dijon guy, but you know. But I just thought it was hilarious that this rabbit's back, chilling in my front yard last night, and I was like, "You s silly salmon," you know. Gosh, 
when I don't have the trap, it's literally right where the trap was, you know. So, got to get the trap back and put, like, fresh food in it every day this week. Next, this next week. Any update on the boat guy? Uh, since I haven't been outside, you know, working on Christmas lights, I haven't seen the boat guy now. No, that was like while I was outside seeing. Well, I could probably check back through my camera, to be honest. Through one of my cameras. And see if he's still cruising through the neighborhood at night. With his boat, with his um, out tail light, you know. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What's popping? All right. Yeah, I don't know about the boat guy. Um, do go in here, hit the ones and the twos, and let's see. Let's go. Do to do all events. Most of my clips are gonna be the rain. At least from last night, man. Yeah, here it is. 2.43 in the morning. There's the rabbit. And he's creepy because, like, his eyes glowing because of the, the infrared light on the on the uh, camera, you know? So you just see the rabbit with the one eye glowing. Chewing on stuff. Just saying. He can have free fishing, but <gasps> no, he's right next to my one tree in this clip. You silly rabbit. You get away from the... He probably chewed on that tree last night. I guarantee it. Well, now he's over by the inflatable. Oh, he was moving all around the yard last night. Ambush Mom, what's going on? How you doing today? Uh, the funny thing was, too, he came from the street. He like he was out by like first time's car, so I don't know if he was like nibble nibbling on first time's car. Cause they do that. But there he's just chilling there. So he was in my front yard for like it looks like a while. At least where the camera was looking, this camera. Mm. That I'm not happy. There's probably things that aren't gonna work tonight in the uh uh, there's probably things that aren't going to work tonight in the Christmas display. I haven't turned anything on today to check, but. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mom, you're getting sick. No, that's not okay. That's not good. He's a gangster rabbit from the street. <laughs> I guess. I don't It's weird because, like I said, I just haven't seen him. And then the other night, Tuesday, when I took trash out, it was late. Or took trash down to the curb. He was in the backyard just staring at me. And I was like, you silly salmon, you. I was not super happy. Not going to lie. What am I planting? I'm planting barley currently. That'll get turned into flour for the flour mill. And then turned into bread for the bay at the bakery. But yeah, so old rabbit and I we're not we're not done, you know. We got we gotta I thought he I thought he ran away, you know. I thought he I thought he moved on to somebody else's yard to chew on stuff, but nope. Old rabbit's back. So get the stew pot out, chat. <laughs> we're gonna need it. <laughs> That's a joke. I'm going to relocate it. I'm not going to turn it into stew. It is a joke. Justin, did you just post a clip from your ring doorbell? Ba, 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 ba. Sure looks like Justin just posted a clip from his ring doorbell. In the Discord. Right, hang on, let me see if I can open this. Do, 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 do. Okay, 27 seconds. Where's this mouse at? I'm waiting to hit. Oh, yep, there's a the mouse. FT43 at Cheerdex 100. Why would he leave your yard? It's a full course buffet. Yo, literally, my front yard is like an all-you-can-eat buffet for the rabbit, to be honest. You know, it really is. Left thanks to the bits. It really is like an all-you-can-eat buffet out there. 
Thinking about the rabbits making you hungry. Okay. Cross line going down. Yep. That's awesome, Justin. That is funny. Very funny. Play it. Sound of a hawk or a bird of prey, the rabbit will know. Will it? Actually, Mo? Because I'll put a sound system outside, okay? Trenton Zach cheered X100. Got to leave the lights up all year, cause what's the poor guy going to eat? <laughs> uh, he likes um, wires under hoods of cars, too, Trent. Yeah. He, he likes wires under hoods of cars, too. Well, that tree kind of... Wait, 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 wait. So, Chad, I just turned some of my... I just turned my lights on. Okay, that tree still works, so that's good, right? <laughs> I was nervous about that one... That tree he was by. And the, that inflatable still works. I was nervous about that, too, because he was, he was kind of, like, right next to that last night. Okay, so that stuff still works. I don't know if the snowman project's going to work, because he was dangerously close to all those cords, too, so... I don't know, man. I just turned my Christmas lights on and off like 10 times. Whoops. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> Not that they care, but... Oh, man. This rabbit, I tell you, chat. Want some carrots. Well, I tried uh, I tried a lettuce in the trap. Yeah, I, wish my mom. I want to trap the thing. It's going away. I'm not trying to feed the thing and make it my pet. All right, buddy's buddy is getting relocated. He's going to a different home that is far, far away from my Christmas display. So I just got to get the trap back. Dad took it to the farm. So I'm doing great. What's popping? We are chilling. We're we're planting some barley. You know, having a good time. Having a good time. Don't stop me now. He can be my friend. No, he has a he has an appetite for um wires. Just make it a pet. A pet. Wait. You're you're telling me that I could have a pet rabbit here in the garage and just feed him feed him old Christmas lights and we could have a cam on him 24-7 for chat? Are you telling me? That's what we could do, right, chat? We could have a, we could have a rabbit cam. Uh, am I gonna play uh, try out Kansas for ATS? Uh, yes, Friday night. Uh, we're gonna be playing ATS for like four hours. Assuming I get my wheel set up uh, uh, working. <laughs> well, you got a couple hours of work. That's what Monday afternoons for. Monday afternoon, I plan on getting the wheel set up all fired up and, and, and ready to rock for uh, Friday. So, yeah, because I don't I won't have time tomorrow or the desire to work on it tomorrow. Honestly, Monday work on that Monday, fix the bot. Hopefully tomorrow night. It's a whole thing. I'm planning my my week and it started next week. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No, so there was two nuisance rabbits, rabbits, and they would hang out together. And then you would always, if you saw one, you'd see the other one, always. And here lately, there's only been the one. So I don't know what happened to the other one, but this one, it's just like, you could walk, you could totally catch it with your bare hands if you wanted to. Like, you can walk right up on this rabbit and it just doesn't care. I mean, I've been within four or five inches. My my foot was of this rabbit, and he just he just stares at you like, "What's going on, bro?" I don't know if he's eating too much copper, you know, from the electrical lines. I don't I don't know. I don't know. You play Ark. You don't remember seeing rabbits? Okay, Fire Shadow. Gotcha. Gotcha. But yeah, it's kind of wild. This this rabbit. It made you eat depressed. Well, this was this was back when it had its buddy. You could still get this close to it. Okay. So yeah. 
there's two possible locations where we're gonna take it and and like release it you know because we we're not gonna we're not gonna kill the thing we're not we're not doing that okay there's there's no reason to kill a rabbit just because it likes to chew on my christmas lights so we're gonna we're gonna release it there's two possible locations and both of them are there's woods and there's plenty of grass and other rabbits and he'll be it'll be fine it'll be just fine oh yeah wow maybe it's just a, a nuisance rodent that's what it really is you know rabbits or rodents they're not but like you know maybe it could be <laughs> no this thing it's got to go away that's all there is to it i need to go buy like a bag of carrots baby carrots or something start getting a thing or i just put christmas lights in the uh in the trap they'll wander in there eventually right <laughs> just say it oh man now see what you what you guys don't know is like it it goes deeper than christmas lights for this rabbit like he cost me probably 500 bucks last year okay you've never seen a rabbit eat a carrot well I'll try to get footage of it because I, I plan on putting the trap where I can see it from one of my cameras. So. Uh, but anyway, so last year, this rabbit probably cost me like 500 bucks in lights. Okay. Cause he was, he went nuts last year. Lights, extension cords, a whole nine. Right. Well, he also like, we had a, um, uh, accessible van for mom. Right. Trenton Zach cheered X100, yay, $500 in rabbit food. Exactly, Trent. Trent, thanks for the bits. Uh, but anyway, we had the wheelchair accessible van for mom back in the day, and it, it we still had it until very recently. Because, uh, you know, it's hard to get rid of things. And um, the rabbit, basically, if you were anywhere in the yard and you would, like, oh, I'm going to chase me a rabbit, or the rabbit got spooked, he would go jump up in the engine compartment of that van. And, uh, like, had a nest in there and, like, chewed all the wires. The van would barely run, and, like, it needed a ton of work. And every time you'd open the hood, the rabbit was right there just hanging out. Summer, winter, didn't matter. So, basically, the rabbit ruined that van, too. So, this rabbit's got to go, because the next thing is either first time's a little SUV that he has or dad's truck. Or, or, you know, a neighbor's vehicle or something like this rabbit is destructive okay this rabbit has to go that's all there is to it i think it all started back with uh we had a we had a bunch of snow a couple of years ago like a bunch of snow and there was no open ground and the only place that didn't have snow was underneath the vehicles l3 ft 43 at chirdex 100 watch years of eating lights john gets it caught in the trap goes to release the little rabbit that was minding his own business. He releases the rabbit in the new location and Hawk swoops down and gets the rabbit. Congratulations, John. Well, that Hawk gets to eat some Christmas lights then left. That's the way I see it. <laughs> the circle of life. Laugh thanks to the bits. So this, this thing's cost us like a lot of money because spoiler, that van was worth like, you know, a, a little bit of money at least, you know, it was probably worth like at least $5,000 and we donated it to charity and got $0 for it because it was junk under the hood from the rabbit chewing all the wires. So I don't think it cost me like 500 bucks, but it cost dad like five grand. Okay. So this rabbit's got to go. That's all there is to it. I'm just saying rabbit's got to go. And if I lived out in the county, you know, it might get, you know, sudden lead poisoning. I don't know. Like, where I live, I can't do that, so. Uh, anyway, chat, how's the weather, man? Kind of rainy and gloomy here in St. Louis today. Kind of like my life. Kind of gloomy. Mostly because I have rabbits that torment me. Or something like that. It's a joke. It's fine. I don't know if that works anymore. Their pizza power. Lonely. You with the name. Like Tomcat. Got all these different names. I don't know which one to call you. How's that different from the random gunshots? Left. 
You know that I don't live in St. Louis. You know where I live. About to rain here again. All right. Power off pizza propels you. All right. Oh, chat, 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 chat. We need map data. Do we? Uh, chat, remember the other night when Tony stopped in and uh, and posted in chat? And he asked me if I wanted the Spanakopita, that Greek uh, thing from uh, Costco. Well, I absolutely said yes. Absolutely, that was a that was a, a big W. Absolutely, Tony, you know, bring it on over, right? So he got me a box of that Spanakopita from Costco the other night. Brought it by the house, and if you guys saw, I posted a video on Instagram of, of them actually on the pizzazz. Which, it gave air fryer instructions on the box and oven instructions. So, of course, I used the pizzazz. They, they, were, they were pretty fire. It's not quite as good as what mom used to make, but nothing lives up to, to that, you know? But, they were fire. They were absolutely fire, okay? The Spanical stuff from Costco. I believe Sam's Club has it too, but I haven't been there to, to verify that. I haven't been to Sam's Club in forever. Actually, like, really need to go. It's 40 uh, where you're at. How much more? Nice. Nice, nice. It's not terrible. I tell you what, it's... You know, Dad was talking about this the other day. He's like... Because we went and looked at Christmas lights Wednesday night. And he goes, it's kind of just, like, difficult to get in the, the spirit of the holidays when it's this warm. Like, yeah, it's like 55, 60 every day here. <laughs> you dang near need air conditioning in the day, like, during the day, especially if you're, like, you know, especially if it's sunny and you're out driving around. Like, you need air conditioning, you know? And it's, like, it's December. Where's our cold weather at? Not that I'm complaining, because I don't mind the, the lack of cold weather, but... At the same time, it's like, you know, on our 10 day forecast, the highest, the highest I see is 57 degrees and it's barely even freezing at night. We do have a 22 coming up Monday, but like beyond that, it's not even going to freeze for the next 10 days. Lows, lows in the forties, mid forties. It's like difficult to get the Christmas spirit, you know, a little bit, but that's okay. It's coming up, man. It's coming up. It's gonna. It's gonna be here before y'all know it. And I'll tell you what. I'm looking forward to the first of the year chat. The first of the year, man. Some things are gonna change. Probably stuff that nobody will notice. It's a lot of behind the scenes stuff, but like, some things are gonna change. That's all I'm saying. You know. 64 in New Orleans. Awesome. You know, Mr. Yenikist, I found out that uh, uh, my brother's girlfriend, who I, I I totally didn't know this, and I've known her for a while, that she's from New Orleans, and I did not know that till just the other day. Kind of kind of blew my mind in a way, you know? Yeah. 40 in the UK. Warmest has been for about a month. Wow. And it should be cold this time of year, you know? Like, it, what's going to happen is when it's time for me to take my Christmas lights down, that's when there's going to be a change in the weather and it's going to be super cold. I'm going to be out there and it's going to be like, you know, 10 degrees and I'm going to be like trying to wind up extension cords that are as stiff as like a 2 by 4 you know what I mean? So, it's going to be super fun, basically, is what I'm saying. Super, super fun. So, that's probably what'll happen, you know? 52. That's so warm. That's so warm. Wow. Perfect reason to leave them up all year. If I left them up all year, I don't think that any of them would work, you know, come November next year. 
You know what I mean? Because between the rabbits and the moisture and, you know, well, the grass growing around them and then us running the string trimmer around. <laughs> you know, I don't think that would work. I am going to have lights up all year. It's those, the, the Govi uh, outdoor permanent lights. Those are going to stay up. I'm probably going to take them down and redo them because we're having issues with some of them. Uh, but the idea of those is to leave them up all year round. Uh, which shouldn't be an issue because the power pack farm is in the house. We ran it through a window. Uh, ran the cord through a window. So that's, you know, in the house. So the rest of it's like up under the soffit. So it should stay dry and it shouldn't, we shouldn't have any issues. Uh, but, you know, that way, like, you know, if, if the, if the blues are playing or something, I could make my house blue or, you know, 4th of July or whatever. I can, you know, change all the... Just make lights and have lights out there. Or just every night if we want just, you know, some lighting. Just a little bit of ambiance outside the house or whatever is, is the plan. So, all right. I'm going to plant this road. I know it's going to look kind of weird, but, like, just trust the process, Chad, okay? Because this field's not square up here. And if I didn't plant this, I would... I, I believe, yeah, that's purple there, I think, isn't it? I, would, I think I'd leave a skipper, so. Hashtag no skippers. Oh, they finally decided to grace us with their presence, chat. They have now graced us with their presence, chat. The boys are here. Uh, happy farming. Let's go. Welcome in. Hello. I can't eat pizza. Like, Thanks for on. gracing me with your presence, left I'm, I, I'm sitting there eating well, you're pizza. Just a professional so. being late, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, if you can be late, we can be late. Oh, so. yeah. is, is that how was your pizza, left? It was delicious. Yeah. All right. It was it was Red Baron, which is I think is probably one of the top tier frozen pizzas. Oh, top tier frozen pizzas, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, I think yeah. I need to go on a frozen pizza uh, tour. What do you what do you uh, rate Jack's Pizza then? Jack's Pizza's like a, like a, it's pretty low. Yeah, <laughs> you might as well eat some cardboard. But pretty, pretty much, yeah. But that's what I had for dinner last night. <laughs> Should have gave the leftovers for Peter. Leftovers? Wait, did you have leftovers when you eat a Jack's Pizza? No. I say, am I supposed to? I thought it was one serving. Uh, it is. It is one serving. Yeah, uh, polar bear. Welcome in. How you doing today? All good here, sir. But Casey's on the other end. Forty-five minutes. <laughs> it's okay, Fire Shadow. I've been late before uh, once. You know, I've I've been late before. Just one time now. It's been this late. Uh, oh, I've been. Maybe one time. I've been later than this, bro. I slept in that one Saturday for like two and a half hours. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, and we gave you crap about it. Uh huh. Just a little. A little bit. Who has leftover pizza? Well, if I order pizza or I get pizza from like Casey's or like, you know, Papa John's or something, there's always leftover pizza. But if it's like a Jack's pizza, there's no leftovers. Yeah. Doing good. Getting your rust. I saw that rust. Yeah. I saw on Steam. I saw their stuff. I got to load. I got to load rust tonight. Check it out. I need to sit in there and make more Christmas lights tonight, too. After stream. That's what I need, need to do. Yeah. 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 What I really need to do, y'all are... Y'all are going to laugh at this, right? Oh, actually, you know what? I have Rust on both computers. I forgot about that. I could totally put Rust on the stream PC... And just have it open so that I can just make sure, like, I don't, I'm not starving or getting dehydrated. Oh, that's a five head idea. I'm doing that later. Or maybe even tomorrow night. So I can play two games at once, basically, is what I'm getting at, you know? Hashtag first world problems. I gotta play two games at once, chat. Let's go. You're getting the jobs, not from the game. I got you. Uh, I got you, Bully Bear. I got you. But I still need to, like, make stuff. I don't know if I even have enough Christmas lights made for my house right now. One of these days, I need to start decorating. 
actually when I upgraded my house to the uh, the, the legacy wood, uh, somehow one of my windmills vaporized itself. I'm like upgrading, and the next thing I know, it's just falling in, in pieces all around me, and I was like, um, that's a problem. I don't think it's supposed to do that. No, no. So I had to fly to Bandy Camp. And I bought more. And then I realized that when I set up the windmills that I do have, I don't know how to count. So there's like an extra gap between the two. So I think I'm going to knock them all down and start over. Girl math isn't mathing? Hello? Yeah, the math was not mathing that day. Uh, it, was, it was pretty bad or something, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Kimmy's got her caps lock on. Kimmy! <laughs> Maybe she's just really excited. Oops. <laughs> Kimmy is going. How are you? Welcome, man. Oh, I got you, Bully Bear. If you just want to drop it in my house sometime, man, you can. I don't care. I don't care. Awesome, Kimmy. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Ah. All that, and I still hit the darn pole. Man. Can't have anything nice, chat. Literally got 50 acres out here to turn around. Ugh. It happens. So, uh, barley left, huh? Lime? Yeah. Yeah. So, are you hip? Did you did you hear my idea the other day? I know you were you were trucking. Um, about about putting like a transfer station in in the homestead. Uh huh. In this homestead to transfer to to you know a semi truck to haul to the other homestead. Or no? I did hear that. Yeah. Because the problem is to get from this homestead to the other homestead is quite a journey on uh, auto drive. But I was thinking if you had like tippers running from these fields to the homestead here, you should be able to like go faster, you know? Because it's less distance they have to travel and then let the semi truck do the, the, the commute. So then technically you would need less auto drive tractors because there will be quicker turnaround. Exactly. Probably just go with like the Kloss and the, or not the Kloss, well the Kloss are the uh, Crones. With the Crone trailers, you know, the, yeah, mm -hmm. or the fence, yeah. Life did make it by my house, yes. He, he sure did. And he may have only taken out one shrubbery or two. There's one. <laughs> as far as I know. Uh, but there's a light pole lake right there too, so I'm glad you didn't hit that. Wait, there's a light pole? Yeah. I was just worried about the shrubbery. You said at the end of my street by the stop sign. Like, yeah, it's right like, there, right, right there on the right. Like on the, on the low, low end of the street, right? Yeah, on the right. Yeah, like where you turned right. around. Yeah, there's totally a light pole there. Uh -huh. <laughs> was the light pole even on? Should have been. I don't honestly pay attention. I was trying to watch, try to avoid the shrubbery. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I haven't been down there yet to see it. I'll I'll go down that way tomorrow. I don't think I actually like. I might have just grazed it. What was know? he hauling? Sailboat fuel. Left was uh, empty. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess the lights, light pole's still there. I Like I said, I haven't been down there yet. I don't know. I'll go down there tomorrow. If there is any, like, sign that, uh, you know, some truck flattened a, a shrubbery, I'll, I'll take a, a photo of it. I may I not post it in, like, a public, but I'll, I'll send it to you, left. Right. You can That'd file it with your insurance company. You, <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys want to attach... That'll be interesting to see if he actually did or not. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. Like, I, I know it hit the shrubbery hit my tire, but I don't know if it was like a hard hit. You know how bad it was. I got to. Well, it's it kind of dark. Shrubbery, so it can't it, be that bad. Yeah. My street, like, we, it, 
I mean, there are three streetlights on my street, but like, shit, forget it once you're past them, you know? It's kind of, kind of dark on my street, which a lot of people have like motion lights outside their house and stuff. We've had a couple issues in the neighborhood, so a lot of people have like cameras and stuff. So it's probably on camera that you like turn around down there. Be all right. Look at that right. <laughs> yeah, he was hauling sailboat fuel. Just a lost tracker. <laughs> yeah, I was lost, clearly. <laughs> That's why he turned around. Uh. Hey, you know, you see some of those videos that Ron Pratt puts up of trucks that get stuck in places because they're just following their GPS, well, you know? <laughs> less at least, at least makes a little bit more sense than those. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Why? A swift truck being lost in the woods? Oh, uh, true. But, like, he shouldn't have even gotten off the highway where, where uh, you know, he did. It's fine. Whatever. He made it out of here without, Dispatch like... Dispatch gave him the wrong address. He made it out of here without an incident or, you know, cops getting called, so it's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Some shrubbery may have been hurt in the process, but that's that's okay. It's it's fine. My, my, my it grows sense. back. Yeah, it'll it'll be it'll buff. It'll buff. And the shrub that's too close to the road. Exactly. It's way too close to the road. That's that's the problem. Yeah. Uh -huh. I should I should I should have just finished that shrubbery off, be quite honest. <laughs> and do your neighborhood a favor. Yeah. Swift makes great YouTube videos. Wow. All right. Are we talking like Taylor Swift or? That's a joke, chat. That is a joke. Just saying. If you were there, you could have found him a ditch or three. There's no ditches near my house, Fire Shadow. You gotta drive a little ways to find a ditch around here. If there's a ditch in like, your neighborhood, there might be an yeah, issue. There's no ditch. I live in the. I live in a the neighborhood. There's no. Yeah. Um. Would have been great if Ron Pratt had to come bail him out. <laughs> oh, it's expensive. Your honor, I swear the shrub jumped out in front of me. Heck yeah, it did. Oh man. How did we get so much money? Um, we sold stuff on Thursday. Again. Still there. Yami Rider, I have seen some. Yes, I have. You'll drive by with your tipper up and pull down all the overhead wires. Oh, boy. I don't actually hold up. Now you got me thinking, are there overhead wires on my street? I don't think there are. There was or not anymore. <laughs> no, I don't think there's any that go over the street. Because all the light That's poles, it. all of our, all it, uh, the whole neighborhood uh, and many neighborhoods and well, every neighborhood, might, or not everyone, most, there, there's power lines in our backyards, right? So that supplies like my side of the street and then like, it's the other side of the street behind us, you know, like that's what, you know, and then the way our neighborhood's wired up, I don't, there's main, there's a main line up at the, up at the main road. But they're like way high up in the air. They're way up there. But beyond that, I don't think there's any that really cross, at least not on my street. If you go right over there on that side street, there's, there's lines that go across that. Yeah. And I don't know how that actually feeds. I don't know. But on my street, I don't think there are any actually up in the air. Besides that, you don't want to take out my power. That would be rude. <laughs> At least left just took out a shrubbery. No big deal. You know how much like, a tow bill for a semi is? Oh, a stupid amount. I mean, yeah. we had a driver get stuck behind a building because yeah. he was dumb and didn't listen to what we tried to tell him to do. Well, like... <laughs> He's no longer with the company, and I, yeah. you know. So uh, when he got stuck, it was a fifteen hundred dollar tow bill just to pull him out from behind the building. Wow, and that was probably like no lifting or anything, right? That was just yeah, that was like like a bumper pull. pull. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yep, and you know they mentioned Ron Pratt. He's an hour and a half by car. 
So probably almost two hours in that truck because I'm sure he's not going to fly too much, you know, uh, from me. So, because I know, because I've been to his shop. I've been to Ron Pratt's shop, guys. So, yeah, we went down there when we, we had to go down that way for a graduation party. And it was only like five more minutes to go past the shop. And I was like, we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to. <laughs> so we did. I uh, have utilities. Yeah, underground. Yeah, I don't live in that kind of, I don't live in that new of a neighborhood to have utilities underground. Uh, the only utility we have, well, I mean, water and sewer and gas are underground, obviously. But we have uh, fiber is the only, like, real one that's under underground here. So, yeah. Yeah, I got pictures of Ron Pratt's shop, and actually his boy Ethan was there. His truck was sitting out front running when we were there. So, it was it was pretty cool to see his place, and... It was funny. My dad just kept going. It's so junky. There's junk everywhere. And I'm like, dad, he runs a towing, like recovery service. There's going to be junk. You know, there's junk cars and upside down trucks and like just junk everywhere. And he's like, it's so junky and trashy and clean this place up. And I'm like, pop. It's just, that's just the way that kind of business is. You know, it's going to have junk laying around. Like, it's fine. But whatever. And actually it was cool. We kept going. If you go. Like, out of Ron Pratt's place, he always, pretty much always turns left to go up to the highway. But if you go right, and you keep going, it's a, it's a mile or, or more maybe down down there. It's The river's right there, the Mississippi River. And they have a huge port there. And they have all this stuff, and they, they, um, they do some, like, logging in that area, apparently. And it's all, like, cut up for pulpwood. So there's just huge piles of timber there. And huge piles of wood chips. They load them on barges. It's it's wild. It's really cool. And, like, this big rail yard and stuff there. And, like, we just drove all through it. And, like, nobody heard. Nobody said anything. So we just kind of meandered our way through it. One second, chat. All right, sorry about that. Aunt wanted to ask me something. Six to seven guys. Oh, I can't imagine what he charges for some of his jobs just because of the, the personnel and the equipment that's there, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, his his place was pretty, uh, there was a lot of stuff laid around. We'll just say that much. There was a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, yeah. Lots and lots of stuff. And it's interesting because they, I guess they've, like, added on to their building, like, 18 times. So, like, their building has, like, multiple color tin. Like, it's all supposed to be the same, but, you know, it fades over the years. So there was, like... Multicolor tin. It was, it was kind of interesting to see it all, though. It really was. I mean, we didn't get to see the rotator. We did see... We did see a rollback. Their newer rollback that he, that they have. And then we saw uh, Little Pete. Yeah. Yeah, Fire Shadow. Oh, yeah. Our insurance to tell him, you know, he can junk it or, or whatever. There's... There's lots of stuff like that, you know? Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Let's see if I can scroll back. I have pictures of the place. Actually, I think I posted the pictures in Discord that day. They're not great pictures, but they are pictures. But it was, it was fun. It was a fun little trip we were on... Well, now I don't see the pictures on my phone. Hey, guys, I think I need to turn around. Maybe I should put my phone down and pay attention, huh? Thanks like for me. For me. What? I'm like Tony over here on Snapchat while I'm trying to farm. Is that how you get the sprayer stuck? Got it. Uh-huh, probably. <laughs> That's how he backed into the wood line, too, and broke the sprayer. 
Sorry, Tony. He and said he might show up today. Yeah, I'm, 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 I I'm, not, I'm not holding my breath. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Wonder how long he holds back before uploading videos online. I have no idea. I don't know. I mean, I know some videos like he, he his he posted one recently of that truck getting stuck where it was on like that little tiny road and like, you know, all the grass was real green and all the trees had leaves and like soybeans oh, were growing. And I'm like, this is an old video. That lady was trying to turn around in that narrow street. Yeah. Like she should have never been there. But I mean, he got the he got the job done. So that's all that matters, right? But yeah, I thought that was funny. I feel like it's usually around winter time when he catches up. Yeah, well, it's whenever they're not as busy. Winter time's probably busier for him. It's whenever he has free time. Plus, I'm sure he has like a ton of jobs that he's filmed, and you just gotta kind of pick through and be like, I want to edit this one today. You know, I'm sure I can't imagine the hours of footage he captures in a month, and being. You know, to sit down and, like, hey, let's make a video out of one of these. Like, good God. Or, or even has his... surprise he doesn't have somebody edit it I know, he As far as I know, he still does all his own. I feel right. like if he had somebody else, he'd pump out videos more yeah, regularly. Yeah, then it loses some charm. When you have other people edit, it kind of loses charm, at least in my opinion. I don't know. Have you heard of that Nick A30? Yeah. You know, he, he's like, he still edits all of his own content and nobody else edits his content. And he's like massive and streams a ton. I'd say he's pretty good size, I think. Yeah, you know, he is. It's amazing that he does all of his own stuff still. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And he puts out content too across like all platforms. Like a lot. So it's wild. But yeah, I can't imagine being, which, you know, it might help, you know, say you film on a Monday and then maybe Monday night you go home and you like put that footage on the computer and you, you know, put it in a file that's dated that day. That would probably help. And you kind of categorize it like that or something. You, you got to keep the footage somewhat clean, you know? <laughs> Sorry, Leonard. I should, you're right. Oh, man. Trent, have you heard of this YouTube channel that works on he, the guy restored an Alice Chalmers tractor? You ever heard of him? No, because I don't have an Alice. There you go. I'll pull out a very obscure YouTube channel with like 100 followers. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> uh, but he was restored at Alice B. It took him two years, but his is absolutely beautiful painted and and like just man it's crazy the guy actually has a has access to like a machine shop and stuff so like different parts that were just like flat wore out that he couldn't like find he would just like manufacture them himself so the tractor's actually like better than new it was wild absolutely wild great restoration videos kind of long-winded but like you know Learned a lot, because when we would have questions about the Alice we were working on, we would watch his videos. <laughs> Be like, wait a minute, what did he do? Oh, man. Remind me next week, or this, yeah, next week, to get a picture of the, uh, there's a, there's a little farm outside of Kansas City. Okay. <clears throat> They've done... I don't know if that's their full display, but they've got blue lights oh. like all, like, like on perimeter of things, like outlines of buildings and stuff. It's very like minimal. Okay. But underneath the tree, there's I don't know what type of tractor it is because every time I remember to look, I just it just catches my eye in the dark. Yeah. But they have the tractor outlined in red lights. Ooh. Which, yeah, remind me to see if I can get a good picture that's of it next cool. week. That's cool. Are you coming back out this way? Oh, uh, yeah, I got two more loads. Gotcha. There's an Alice Summer Shanker Solo. I can't figure out what model it is. 
Uh, so on a lot of the other summer little tractors, it's right by the shifter is where the uh, serial number is. And it'll start with a B or a C or a CA or a W or a WD or whatever. A lot of, they start with like whatever the model is. Although I think on the W series, like the WD, uh, they're on the back of the transmission by the PTO, I believe. But yeah, you just look up, you gotta find the serial number and then you can figure out what tractor it is. And actually you can figure out what year it was made by that real fast and easy too. Cause there's websites that have cheat sheets for that. Oh yeah. It's kind of cool like that. You might want to get a seed. I bought, yeah, I I bought gonna, you some seed. I, I bought you some seed already. Okay. I was going to grab while I was down here. Oh, you would say, well, go talk to him. Be just like, hey, I'm really curious what tractor that is. Can you just, I bet they, I, I'm sure the people know. Go talk to him. Be like, hey, that's a cool tractor. I was just curious what model is it. Would you take a case of beer for it? <laughs> Most likely, people that have a tractor on display in front of their front yard would love to talk about their tractor, you know? Just saying. Somebody showed up at the farm and they wanted to talk about tractor. Well, first off, don't show up to my farm because it's kind of like, you hey, don't do that. But, like, I love talking about my tractor, you know what I'm saying? So, love talking about my tractor. But it's different because, you know, the farm sits a mile off the road, so... You don't just happen to pull on into the farm, you know. It's very on purpose if you come into the farm. Left, that's the next place you got to go, huh? I think so. Uh... <laughs> Pumpkin day. That's the day. Let's do it. The kids would love to see us have my truck roll up in there. Just saying. <laughs> I get a load that actually corresponds with that, maybe. That would be see. funny. That would be very funny. I don't know if you'd want to pull up in there loaded, but like, you know. Well, that's not the only way I would probably be there. Depends. Anyway. Depends if we've had rain recently or not. Yeah, he'll I mean, they drive semis in there, you know, or out of there fully loaded. And you know they're loaded because they're coming right out of a field. You know, they're overloaded. So they're cause... probably like 120,000 pounds, you know. Those wet corn and, you know, they fill them up, so... Yeah. Our lane, as long as, as long as like you're not within an hour or a couple of any kind of rain, our lane would be fine. It turning the truck around in the yard might be another story, but like the lane would be fine. You can just back out to the highway, right? Back out a mile. Sure. Head above. We'll stop traffic for you. It'd be okay. Might have to call Ron Perrin and just go and have him on the way before I start leaving. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's other tow services that are way closer. We'll call up, uh, we'll call up Big Boys. We'll, hey. we'll see if the Alice Chambers can pull the way out. Yeah, right. Big Big Boys, actually, I've, I've pulled out a straight truck before. The Well, not the Alice, but the case. It was stuck in the mud. That, would, yeah, that was a wild night. Uh, the big boys towing, I think they're over in Illinois. They have a 75-ton uh, twin steer rotator, and the thing is completely blacked out. Hmm. It is beautiful. Everything's black. There's no chrome on the entire truck. Everything's black. Beautiful truck. The same. Had form all cub tractors and love talking. Exactly, yeah. People that have tractors love talking about their tractors. It's like car guys. Car guys love talking about their cars. That's all there is to it, you know? Or, or you know, Lego guys like talking about their Legos. Or Christmas light guys like talking about their Christmas lights. Or whatever, you know? It's I have a passion for Christmas lights. If somebody is genuinely interested and wants to talk Christmas lights, I will talk Christmas lights for hours with somebody. I'm just saying. Our tractors, for that matter. I will. Like, yeah. There were people at Pumpkin Day that came up to, like, talk to me about the tractor. And, like, after an hour, they're, you can tell they're trying to, like, get away from the conversation. And I'm still talking. 
And then finally, it's like, I need to go get some food. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, I was that guy. I like to talk about things I like, you know what I mean? So. It is what it is, chat. Well, these definitely need. I didn't think these needed lime that bad. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you going to go down to the new field, too? We should plow that back out, by the way. Yeah, I'll get. The awkward. Do we have anything it to. E5 is good. No, we don't currently. We can get a plow. We'll get that Lemkin or whatever. We have money, right? In that mod. For now, we have money. Hopefully, it doesn't vaporize today again, huh? That would be sad. I don't think it will. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're just doing a little bit of plowing, so I'm just going to lease that. You got the horsepower. Oh, yeah. Got all the horsepower. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. Do you, uh, is it like, is that one edge like smooth or is it I straight? I ran the smoothing tool quite a bit over it. Um, maybe need to run it a little bit more, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't, like, looked at it, looked at it, you know, like in first person. Not sure. Planting 55 again in carrots, right? No, Scoot, we're planting that in uh, potatoes. Potatoes. And we can skip carrots or at least plant like one small Yeah, we don't need to plant carrots. We have a ton. Uh, oh. You saw a John Deere 50 one time. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, what do we have? We have a lot. Uh, 1.4 million carrot. I don't think we need to plant any carrots for a while. Or at least one harvest we can probably skip. So, but oh, we need to plant some sugar beets too, don't we? Or no? No. We don't have a sugar factory yet. That's the one root crop we haven't done on this map yet is carrot. Or uh, not carrot. Sugar beet. Good old sugar beet. Scoot, you're good, man. Yeah, we have a couple truckloads of carrots. Just a couple. Speaking of trucks, we need to def decide what truck we need to get. We're going to get today. I'm leaning towards the man truck, honestly. And I know that sounds awful. It does, actually. But it's good on um, auto drive. The man truck with the three in one trailer is like awesome on auto drive. We're not going to be running it a bunch. It's an auto drive truck. John Deere. 730s for sale. Sign me up. I'll take one. And actually, sugar cane, we can totally grow sugar cane because our harvester harvests sugar cane too. It does. And harvest sugar cane. So we can totally plant that at some point. At some point. I think we need to buy some, like, I think we need more land right now. I don't even think there's a sugar factory on the mat. Probably not. Uh, I don't think so. That's the place. What? Is that the, you asked about the sugar factory? Yeah. Where's that? I said I don't think there is one. Oh, okay. I don't think so either. Plugger, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you? You're late, Scoop. Yeah. I am. And cotton, yeah, too. Yeah, I want to do the loose cotton. Yep. Scoot was working his real job, Trent. It's okay to be late for that, you know? No, it's not. Yeah, okay, mister, that just disappears for days at a time. All right, left. He doesn't disappear. He comes back in teen seek. Yeah, but he can't, like, you know, farm with the boys. You know? Not if he doesn't get a laptop. Not with that attitude, he can't. <laughs> well. 
making the dollars to support the stream. Yeah, Trant, shut up. <laughs> like supporting the kids. <laughs> yeah, Trant, shut up. <laughs> I don't mean it. I'm not trying to be rude. Sorry, Trent, for hurting your feelings. Please write me an angry email. Trent, uh, Trent are you driving train this morning? Is that what uh, you're doing? No. no? Are, you, are you not playing that game anymore? No, we are. Okay. You, you and Dave just play at the same time. It's more fun that way. I can see that. I know you don't play multiplayer, but... Oh, so dumb question. After how many days of fast time and is that other train uh like ready to go? For logs? No, oh, the one that's broken. Oh, it's you gotta click on it and see the condition of it. Because I was thinking I need like one train on passenger car and one train on, you know, log cars right now, right? And I I mean you can do it that way, yeah. Alright. It should be just be one day. The shady and trust in Yummer Enter. I would think it'd be fixed by now because I fast timed a lot of days. But what's this reputation? Apparently everybody hates me. Is that what's going on now? Yeah, I see you get like more money or something too. Oh. Why is my dad backing into Casey's driveway right now? What the Hannah Montana is going on out there? Give a trailer on. He to, oh, he has a trailer. Forgetting that water heater, not hot water heater. Apparently, if I say that, I'm an idiot. The water heater for tomorrow. I guess he's parking in Casey's driveway. Okay. Interesting. Probably getting out of the way of the lights for me. All right, more you know. Time to turn around. Dad doesn't know the rabbit was here last night, chat. I have to tell him about that. Almost caught you. Or what? Who almost caught who? What? <laughs> uh, Miss Judicus, that's funny. Oh, yeah. Bear Bear called me out on it, too, Miss Judicus. So you're good, man. You're good. You're good. Yeah, Bear called me out on it, too. So it's fine. Oh, man. Scoot, all good, man. We'll catch you. All good, all good. Yep, no, I get that it now, Bear. Good. Sorry. Took me a minute. The, the, what if our water is already hot? What if it comes hot from the city, huh? And then we just want to heat it up a little bit more, you know? That would be really weird if our water was delivered hot from the city. Like, and not just, you know whatever temperature that would be strange it doesn't it's not a thing don't worry that would be very weird <laughs> oh i actually really like this time of year because like tap water is a little colder you know gets you a nice a nice tall glass of tap water right out of the sink and it's like already cold then you need a cold water cooler Like a water cool. All right. I mean, arrange that. Probably buy one of them. Oh, man. And oh, man. Summer. True. You want to ride it? True. It's just south. All right. Come on, turn the camera. 
wonder if the rabbit's hanging out there. Maybe, maybe dad will see the rabbit. Oh, man. Cold water air conditioner. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a water conditioner? How does that work, huh? Well, that's not working anymore. Cool. I don't know. It's like at the farm, you know, we are, we're on well water down there, but you got to wait for the good well water, you know? Especially from a hand pump skew. Wow. All right. So our well at the farm is only like 28 feet deep. It's just, it's a shallow well. And, uh, but like the tank, you know, in the pump house, it'll get warm. So if you actually want water, you gotta wait a second, you know. Soft water softener. Wait a minute. Why would you soften your soft water? How Make soft do you want your water? <laughs> wait a minute. Uh that's funny. Water softener? I want my water extra soft, okay? All right, Good talk, right? <laughs> oh, man. That's funny, chat. That's funny. Like taking a shower in a pillow. That doesn't really sound like a bad idea. I'm gonna be honest, that sounds that sounds all right. Alright, you ruin appliances in five years. Wildfire. That's not good, man. Get a get a soft water softener. Double the just get two of them and then one's a water softener and one's a soft water soft soft I can't even say it now. You know what I mean, chat. <laughs> oh man is there like one like is there like a hard line on 89 that's out of date for you for this field or am i just there is a weird line right in the center it's bothering me is it out of date what i don't is that better yes that's much better that's much better <laughs> Okay. I was like, why is there... Am I, I just... don't know. There's just an awkward line in the center of the field. I don't know why. <laughs> XL. It holds seven, 27 cups of water. Are we talking big cups? Small cups? Like cup. Like probably a cup. Like a measure like... cup. That seems like a lot. That don't seem like a lot, though. No? I think it sounds like a fair bit. You gonna be able to like pick that up, Sean? Or like you gotta is it come with like a shoulder strap or like how does that work? Send me a link, Sean. I'm curious now. Send me a link, please. On it DM it to me or something. Or post it in chat, I don't care. All right, we're not going to plant our southern fields, okay? We're going to plant these. And that's it. Yeah. 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 It's a backpack. <laughs> oh, dude, that thing's huge. So it's like meant to sit in the fridge or something, huh? Okay. It, it thing's... That thing's pretty good size. All right, Sean. Uh, I hope you enjoy your clean water. That's not bad. I should get one of those out for out here. The for, for you know, just put a straw in that bad boy. You know, just put a straw in that bad boy. 
<laughs> Let's go. I think it's called a water tank. Oh, man. The fire damaged gasoline. Half price. That's funny. It's got a spout and everything. I know. I could put it, like, on the wheel setup. I don't have anywhere else to put it. But I could, like, you know, build a shelf or something just for that. <laughs> and then I have to run a water line out here. And... Yo, that'd be the, that'd be the, the strat to have a water, my own water line out here, chat. I could just have all the water I could ever want all the time. Except for in the winter, I'd have to drain it because, you know, it gets cold out here. Actually, it doesn't get that cold. It will get cold, but like that. I don't think it ever freezes in here, actually. I, I always keep a cup of water on my desk. Which, yes, is the one that ended up in the keyboard that night. But I always keep a cup of water in, in, on my desk. And it's never frozen. Even though I'm in a basically poorly insulated garage. So we'll put it that way. Very poorly insulated. Kind of non-insulated, honestly. But yeah, never actually had ice in that cup. So therefore, it's fine. It'll buff, right? It'll buff. It'll be okay. This dance. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here now. On this plant. All I know, getting down to it, y'all. That's okay. You would be concerned for the PC if the water froze? Yeah. Uh, if it's going to be really cold, I don't turn my PCs off, which for the most part, my PCs kind of aren't off anyway. I should turn them off more than I do, but like, it's such a pain to get everything working again and like oh that program doesn't have any audio for some reason now and oh i gotta turn this up three decibels and it's just easier to leave everything running honestly but if it's gonna be really cold i don't i will purposely not turn every like heater or uh, what's it called computers off yeah and i've left like a little space heater running out here too and it, it like i said it doesn't freeze in this room it gets cold Villagers go to sleep. Yeah, I won't. I won't. My computers just have, are set to not go to sleep ever. Favorite mod or top five? Uh, let's go top five. Uh, course play auto drive GPS. No collision camera. Lime to auger wagon. I think we're over five, right? Um. Christmas decorations. <laughs> no, those aren't my favorite. Uh, I said, no, I said course play, auto drive, GPS, that's three. Lime dog wagon, no collision camera, that's five. We're up to five. I really love script mods. Uh, we get all the fun script mods here on PC, and y'all, unfortunately, the console guys don't get them, but. I'm a, I'm a big script mod guy, so. Equipment, like, tractors, or there isn't a favorite, like. I mean, the 2 plus 2 is really cool. But I don't really have, like, a favorite, like, modded tractor or anything. Modded semi-truck, don't have one. Like, a favorite one. Now, GPS, course play, auto drive, three different mods. Like realism mods. Well, GPS is real. Uh, VCA is too. It's just too much for me. There's too much stuff going on with it. I don't. I've always used GPS. Uh, it's, GPS is very simple, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Love me some scripts. <laughs> exactly, Joe. No, no, no. What'd you do? The uh, GPS. I decided oh. to just continue driving as it. A... Oh, yeah, you're locked up. Yeah. I gotcha. It happens. I don't know what sense if we're gonna fix this, anyways. 
Oh, Insta Wash Bear, yeah. Insta Wash is another good one. Just wash my cedar. Yep, Insta Wash is a good one. All the scripts. All the script mods. Horseplay is realism too. I mean, that's. Yeah, I, hiring a worker to go do a job for you, yeah. Auto drive's no different. Left basically is an auto drive worker in real life, right? Pretty much. <laughs> You're told to take this here and come back. Like, that's realistic. Lime dog or wagons, obviously not. Like, realistic, but. You know, in real life, if somebody wants to put lime in an auger wagon, there's nobody going to tell them. Well, a lot of people would tell them no, but, like, at the end of the day, if you really wanted to put lime in your auger wagon, you could. You wouldn't get it back out of there, but you could put it. You could you could definitely put it in there. It would be, like, the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> you could. <laughs> you yeah, definitely could. Oh, man. GPS can be synced on a server. VCA cannot, you think? Oh, see, I didn't know that, Yum Rider. I've never actually used VCA. I've looked at it a couple times, and it's like, or I've watched people play farm sim that have it, and there's just too much too much going on. The lines are very uh, intrusive, which I'm assuming you could turn the lines off just like you can in here. Uh, but it's just, it's just, I'm used to this, so I'm going to keep using this. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And, you know, guidance steering GPS is, it ain't broke, so we'll, I fix it. And the syncing in multiplayer is very nice. By saving the lines and then loading the same lines on everybody, and it's just, it's so much better. So much better. So, yeah. I mean, it's just great. I like it. I like it a lot. You want to buy 59's data real quick? And we'll get it limed. Data? I thought we had that. We do. Oh, because uh, we made it bigger. I uh, fixed it. Yeah, you're fine. I got you. Okay. Um, Actually, I really miss the old GPS, by the way. The old GPS, like Farm Sim 15's GPS, was not made by Wobster. It was made by a different guy who I think went to work for cattle and crops. We know how that turned out. Uh, but that GPS was sick. Just saying. GPS aggravated you. Okay. The old GPS, though, was so... So good. I love me some old GPS. I mean, the old one was kind of like the John Deere planter box style. Are you inside of, like, a shoebox or something, Trent? <laughs> Uh -oh. Why do you sound different? Why do you sound like this? Why are you like this? I don't know. Were you like in what? a bathroom or something? Ah, you sound like my microphone. Like, oh, was it up? It was down. I got you. You sound fine now. Okay, I was like, bro, you don't sound right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not like Leonard with the compression on. Oh, man. Yo, Mr. Burt, you're not wrong. The old GPS was harder to learn, but it was better. Yes. That is true. And the old GPS really kind of wasn't... It wasn't just GPS. It would also, like, auto-turn you at the end if you uh, set it up to. So you could just, like, walk away from your computer, and it would just do the whole field for you. Well, and with it kind of looking uh, like a John Deere planter box. Yeah. You had the uh, John Deere sounds, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And remember Pretty they came good. out with that for, was it 19 they came out with it? Or 17? And it was garbage. I think it was 19. Good afternoon, Bert. Welcome in, sir. Hope all is well. Or as well as he can be, you know. Good as he can be. You know. All right, all right, all right. So that field looks looking a lot better. Good, 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 good. We are chilling. 
be done planting here soon ish i got one more i might have a smidge bass over there left yeah yeah i'll be done with my long rows here in a minute these shorties won't take long be done I'm by a second combine today we just want to get bigger a little bit bigger combines at this point probably here. What are we doing with straw? Are we on bail? 